Kickoff time is almost upon us. A colossal game featuring two teams that truly deserve to be on the big stage. We know they can deliver, but will they do it with the pressure on and when it matters most? Don't go anywhere. All the action next. City that loves its football. I'm talking, of course, about Manchester, and it's a real pleasure to be here tonight at Old Trafford. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. Thank you very much for your forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Manchester United up against Aston Villa. So United restart the game. Disappointed to have conceded. Can they come up with an equaliser? He might be able to profit from the wide position. a really inviting ball played into the box begging players to attack it but when he shoots I expected him to go across the goalkeeper he should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post that's not good keeping well that's not a happy manager he knows he's got a lot of work to do now so the ball rolling again 2-0 the score Anthony Despite the adversity they suffered earlier. Well, as you can see, this is absolutely brilliant. He's such a good runner with the ball, and it's a great individual goal. Brilliant from him. action then and you sense United have the momentum at the moment 
Nicolo Zaniolo. Here is Zinha. It's a very good goal, and they deserve it, you have to say. They've been excellent. Well, no wonder he's delighted. They're bossing the game now. Underway again with the score at 3-1. Making progress. and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity, certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. Well, you can see the frustration in his face. His team have just switched off here. Underway again, and we're being treated to plenty of goals. 3-2 at the moment.
see it again. It's a superb cross, just asking for someone to go and meet it. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. Well, that picture says it all. Eric Ten Hag's team are back in the game now. Again here, this has been quite the roller coaster ride. The electronic board has been held in the air, and we're going to have a minute of four and a minute. Concludes the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, he was excellent in that first half. He almost ran the game at times with his passing ability. Unless he's marked better in the second period, he'll continue to dictate the flow of this match. Zaniolo.
attack. team have been really poor today neither side shy about shooting in this match Bailey
have another look at this because he does really well to pick the right pass here while the movement in the box is equal to it it's such good timing what a goal And I must say, I'd have to go back quite a few years to remember the last time I covered a game with a scoreline of 5-4. Lisandro Martinez. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserved the result in the end. His performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, he was on fire today, not just with his finishing, but also his general play. That was a top-class hat-trick.